Okay, so I'm here with a UK streetball champion, good friend of mine, Showtime. Long day, long day. It's all good. Okay, so I'm excited because Showtime's in the show. So, a few years back, I set up a streetball competition. All right, so anybody could enter, and this guy came along and just basically smashed it. <laughs> smashed it. All right, not just with the dancing moves, with streetball, he was doing everything. The crowd loved him, people loved him, I loved him, sick, and he won, he won my tour. So, first of all, yeah. how did that feel winning the tour? Boy, that was, yeah, it was a good few years ago. No, I was sick. I didn't even expect it, to be honest. So my coach said, come along, and I was like, okay. And then he's like, oh, it's a little treat for you because all the tricks and stuff. And then I started to see people that I've seen on YouTube, AKA you, who we used to watch in school all the time. Madness. You used to get told off for that as well in the library. And then next thing you know, I ended up getting past a certain stage in the competition. And then I got told to come back um, a few weeks later for the finals. Because yeah. two, two people got picked yeah, in people every, in yeah, city. every city. Yeah. And then I was one of the two. And then got to the finals now in Stevenage. And still got the trophy. I should have bought the trophy with me, man. Yo. I see you winning, man. Give it up for him, please. Thanks very much. Thank you, Thank you, so tell me how you first got into basketball. Like, was it somebody you watched or something that you've seen, or did um, you just pick it up and enjoy it? It was a bit of both, because I was always into football, because that's what we got introduced to in school. But, and I always had to like work hard at it, because I wasn't like the healthiest or fittest of young ones. Kind of chubby on the side, but man, are better now still. So. Um, so, but then came to PE, and then we just got given basketball, and as soon as I bounced it, it was easy. I don't know, it just felt effortless. You know when someone just, something just clings, you get what I'm saying? And then, we started to like research it and go in and look at the players on, on the internet in the library and then we found out there was someone from the UK that was in it as well, that did all the tricks. That was, yeah, was you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, for, then we thought, wait a minute, there's a white guy and he's doing all these sick tricks destroying everyone. No, because you've got to be real, like that's not, it's not what you see every day, is it? Do you know what I'm saying? Putting it down the shorts, pulling their shorts down, all these mad stuff around the head and then it's from the UK, so I thought, okay, so it's possible for people from the UK to be able to do it, it's not just an American thing, right. do you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think you have to go somewhere else or be, or live in somewhere else to be able to do certain things. Nah, so it, that kind of made us think, oh my days, like, let's get on this thing. So Streetball, you've got a quite a unique style. Is there a favourite move amongst all of these that's your favourite? Um, I think it's slow-mo. So basically, I'm doing all my tricks, moonwalk, um, bouncing the ball, crossovers, and then I just go into an instant. So you go from fast? I go from fast to, to slow. Super slow. It's just super slow, instantly. Leave them just confused and baffled. Look at them, give them a little smile, and I'm off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So Showtime, it's been a pleasure. All day, Tom. It's great to catch you up, my friend. I'll see you at the next SBX event. Make sure, make sure. That's enough talking. You guys need to see this guy in action. Streetball and dancing, this guy's a killer. Woo! Check it out, check it out, check it out. <laughs>